What's up everyone, Dan here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm talking about how to adjust back into a training routine after taking a break. This is gonna be the case for a lot of people with the pandemic going on. A lot of gyms have been shut around the world. In the UK, we're set to go back in soon. How can you adjust back to your training after a break? Like the video, subscribe for more content. Uh, let's get into it. So my first tip is don't be a hero on day one. If you try and go into the gym and lift weights that you haven't been used to lifting at home for a long time, you're likely going to just injure yourself. So just do not try and be a hero. Did someone say hero? What are you doing? Get out. Sorry about that. So don't, don't injure yourself on day one. Be sensible with the weights you're using. Don't go back in trying to lift your one rep max on day one because it's just not gonna end well for you. Point number two is start back in a slightly higher rep range. This ties into number one. It's gonna prevent the risk of injury, but also you're gonna really dial in your form and focus on that mind-muscle connection. Once you've built up strong form on the exercises again, then I would suggest going back into a slightly lower rep range with a higher weight. For example, if you go back in and uh, on your compound movements and, and you lift 12 to 15 reps, say, per set, you're less likely to get injured because you're doing a slightly lower weight, but it's going to provide that nice stable foundation from you from which you can go on. I would suggest starting on reps of 12 on most exercises on the first day back. Say, if you then after each session try and add a rep per week, so you could do sets of 12 the following week, sets of 13, 14, 15 for four weeks. Once you've then increased the reps, you're applying progressive overload and you're challenging your body. At the end of those four weeks, maybe you wanna drop, drop the rep range back down again to 12 and then increase the weight you were using on week one. Therefore, you've applied progressive overload, you're challenging your body over time and you're also preventing the risk of injury. So maybe give that a go, start at a rep range of 12 to 15. Then after four weeks, increase the weight using, you're using and go back to a slightly lower rep range, maybe set, sets of 12 with a high weight or then go back down to sets of eight. Always remember form over weight. If you are lifting huge heavy weight on a bench press, but you're not, you're using really, really fast tempo and not controlling the weight, it's probably gonna have less significant impact on your chest development than it would using using a dumbbell or a barbell bench press where you're controlling the weight and you've loaded it slightly but you're doing a slower range of movement and a more controlled tempo that could actually have more benefit from you rather than just ego lifting with a huge weight that you aren't controlling so always remember form is most important over the weight you're using so focus on that in the first few weeks back of your training point number three so mix it up so if you've done a bro split as they say like a different muscle group on each day so chest one day back the next wednesday legs thursday arms etc say you've been doing that split for a number of years maybe maybe mix it up it's more going to be more beneficial for you to hit to each muscle group at least twice per week that's been shown to be more beneficial for muscle development mainly because muscle protein synthesis usually occurs in the first 48 hours after having lifted weights if you're natural so by by after recovering 48 hours you should in theory be able to hit another muscle group again so tr focus on trying to use a routine that allows you to hit each muscle group at least twice per week this could be this could be full a full body workout three to five times per week this could be push pull legs workout where you do pushing movements, chest and shoulders, triceps, and then pulling movements being back and biceps, and then legs as a separate workout. Maybe give push pull legs a try if you haven't done that before. If not, upper body, lower body splits are good, good split to follow as well. Give one of these routines that you haven't given a go a try the first time you get back into the gym, maybe, because it's always interest it's always good to keep it interesting and providing different stimuli for your body to grow with. 
Also, if you haven't done much cardio previously, maybe that's something you could also incorporate into your routine. It's really important for your cardiovascular health that you are doing some, some form of cardio, but it's also gonna keep it more interesting by varying your ty the types of training that you're doing. Point number four, ultimately you need a routine that you're gonna enjoy. If you enjoy certain exercises over others, I would always encourage you to pick the exercise that you enjoy more than the exercises that in theory or on paper might be better. For example, someone may much prefer a leg press to a squat. Now, if I program you to do loads and loads of squats in your routine and you've explicitly told me that you really don't like them and you prefer doing leg press movements, your ad adherence is probably not gonna be great over time. So you want to make sure that you're picking exercise that you enjoy and therefore you're more likely to, to be motivated to go and improve on and to apply that progressive overload over time. So when you are building a program, going back into the gym, focus on exercise that you enjoy more than exercise that you don't. Point number five, so point number five being mindset. So it's quite easy, I've had this thought process as well. It's gonna be quite frustrating when you first go back in. If you haven't been tra training with the gym for a few months, you're not, you're not, you may have to dial back the weights a bit and you won't be lifting anywhere near as heavy as you were before. Now, the pandemic's a situation where, which is completely outside of your control and no one could have foreseen coming. So please do not get inside your own head and be negative about the past, you can't, you can't blame yourself for not being able to lift as heavy as you used to prior to taking a break from the gym. It's just one of those situations and the sooner you get in the mindset of looking forward, being in the present and not worrying about the past, it's gonna benefit you going forward. Focus on the here and now, this is your new fresh start, your starting point and then progressively overload up from there and let's look forward. There's no point worrying about your PRs from when you were training consistently for years and years in the, before the gym's closed. So focus on the fresh start and let's, and I'm sure you'll get back to where you want to be. Point number six. So focus on your weak points or areas you've neglected. So for me, for example, I know I've been guilty of not doing that many ab exercises and core exercises in the past. It's quite easy to skip them at the end of a workout, especially if it, at the end of a demanding workout where you're tired, right? So although you will engage your core during a lot of compound movements, so the big movements, you will need to engage your core in most exercises, which is usually good practice as well. You do need to be adding weight and treating the abs like any other muscle. So for me, I'm looking to add more weighted ab exercises when I go back into the gym. You want to progressively overlay the abs like you would any other muscle. So that's something that I'm definitely trying to dial in and focus on because I know I haven't been training my core as much as I should have been when I was in the gym previously. So that's something that I'm gonna work on. Maybe you've been neglecting rear delts, say a lot of people have a tendency to focus more on the front and what they can see in the mirror. Maybe that's an area you wanna work on. Whatever it, whatever muscle group it is, whatever area that you haven't, you've neglected, whether that be cardio or particular muscle groups, focus on incorporating more of that into your routine going forward and you'll see many benefits from that doing that. I really hope you enjoyed the video and you found this useful for going back into the gym. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, like the video, subscribe for more content. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later, bye.